real reason people are dropping out of the industry is because they haven't been able to make money. You know, it's, it's a really difficult subject for a lot of the industry like me who several generations been in the business. That's what we do, that's what we know. And we can't make a living doing that anymore. Twenty eighteen was supposed to be a comeback year for Florida citrus, which has been plagued by a disease for over a decade called citrus greening. But after Hurricane Irma, things have gone from bad to worse. The storm, which made landfall on September 10th, hit just weeks before the harvest season was set to begin. Irma's fury, awe-inspiring and terrifying. Almost a full day of winds of over 100 miles an hour. Today, Irma at 155 miles per hour is among the strongest hurricanes ever recorded. When the storm passed, citrus growers across Florida found their groves decimated by one of the strongest hurricanes in U.S. history. Fruit losses have been estimated between 50 to 90 percent in portions of the state. This is the scene Bill Rowe found a week after the storm. I'm looking at the east side of the trees, which sustained the most damage. You can see how thin the top part of the tree is. Notice orange fruit in the tree that's damaged and going to fall on the ground. Bill and his brother Quentin run William G. Rowe and Sons, a family-owned citrus business started by their grandfather in the 1920s. Right now we have either in production or soon to be in production uh, 4,100 acres. But we've had to overcome uh, a lot of adversity right now, primarily from a disease called greening, which has ravaged the industry. It's taken us from 800,000 acres in Florida uh, of all Florida citrus down to less than 400,000 in a decade. Citrus greening was first identified in Florida in the early 2000s and became a serious issue for growers in the years that followed. The disease prevents trees from efficiently transporting nutrients from their leaves to the roots, ruining the fruit and for a time was considered a death sentence. Once a tree is infected, there is no cure, but costly treatments have helped growers find ways to work around it. This year in particular was expected to be the first good harvest in some time after years of experimentation. When Irma came, those hopes were crushed. We've lost one year for sure. Is it gonna take the trees 24 or 36 months to recover? We don't know, we've never been through a disaster of this magnitude before. The Rose, like many growers across the state, now find themselves salvaging what they can of their crop. The additional care needed to keep the sick trees alive has raised production costs from roughly $800 an acre prior to greening up to $2,000 an acre today. The cost can be even higher for growers like the Rose, who are among the small number in the state focused on fresh fruits, those sent to grocery shelves, instead of to the juicing plant. Talk to uh any number of investment type people that are looking at risk reward for an investment opportunity, they're having a hard time justifying why they would invest money in Florida citrus. Despite the difficult landscape, the Rose say they'll be writing things out. Bill's son Jeff manages their groves and has been influential in figuring out alternative growing methods to combat the effects of greening. One of the things that's unique about citrus is you don't know anything until you've done it for three years. That's the main reason greening research has been very slow. This last cold snap really is making this fruit turn. We're gonna it takes years to evaluate a program, so the challenge is to keep your head to the ground, go with what you think will work the best, and wake up in three years and try to draw a conclusion off of that. That time is a luxury that many others in the industry don't have. We're very fortunate as a family business. We've got a reason for uh, the fourth generation G4 to come along. We got some 20 and 30 year olds that are heavily invested. We are a rare phenomenon across the agricultural waterfront right now. Uh, this used to be a heavy citrus growing area even within the last six or seven years. And all those groves have been taken out uh, except for our family's groves. I've told people many times, I don't wish citrus on my worst enemy most days. Um, we're in such a free fall right now, and there's such a barrier to 
entry as far as knowledge that I think there is tremendous opportunity in this industry and maybe one day it'll get back to prosperity. Right now it's um, very difficult to make margins. Total losses to the industry from Hurricane Irma are estimated at $760 million. And with this year's orange crop hitting a 73-year low, the Rows worry that without disaster relief from the federal government, this harvest season may be the last for many of Florida's citrus growers. Every week that goes by, the disaster that was Florida gets a little further into the rearview mirror, and I'm pretty concerned that uh, despite our Florida delegation working hard, uh, I don't see the rest of Congress uh, having us in their windshield anymore. We're still waiting. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.